In 2016, I decided to move my woodworking business in hopes of growing it into something bigger. Now, only a few years later, people all over the Nashville area are inviting me into their homes to help create unique one-of-a-kind pieces and make their dreams a reality. So follow along as I take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to create these custom built-ins. This week has been nuts. We just got finished up with the project that put us like four or five days behind schedule, which kind of sucks because I was about a week ahead of schedule even though I'm fully a month behind schedule. And so now being about five more days behind schedule kind of stinks because I was hoping to get a little more caught up. And here comes the rain. So we have been busy this week getting the other project finished up while my second carpenter was getting this project ready to go. We did have a chance to go over to my new shop uh, and start getting things started over there, but we're not fully set up. And so it was a little odd trying to like actually work there and use all the tools and everything. So long story short, he's back in his own shop. Everything is working. And so he's able to build the pieces off site now, bring them to me, and then we take them and install them in the client's house. This office is going to be really nice. Uh, it's got a couple of file drawers, it's got some cabinets, it's got, you know, all the basic everything, some crown molding up top. It's going to be a really nice dark color with some uh, kind of gold brushed accents. So I'm excited about that. We're also redoing the client's desk while we're there. So this is going to be a big project. But other than that, I feel like this project should go pretty smoothly. Um, I'm excited to get started on it, but I'm also pretty under the gun to go ahead and get it done as quickly as possible so we can get on to the next project. So I'm going to take my time, get through this thing as easy as possible. I've got two days left this week to try to make sure that I'm doing everything right uh, so that we can get everything in, get it built, get it ready and get it prepped. And the next week I can be starting paint while my second carpenter is out doing the next project and getting it set and ready to go. So that's where we're at. did not turn out the way that I thought it would. We got pretty far last week. I've got a little bit more to do that I was planning on doing first thing Monday morning. And then 
Icepocalypse 2021 happened. I'm not making light, I know a lot of people in Texas have gotten hit really hard by it. Here in Tennessee it was pretty bad as well because we got so much rain, then sleet, then ice, then snow, then sleet again that the roads were literally impassable and it took them about two days to get all of our trucks to get at least the main roads cleared. There's a lot of people who still can't leave their houses and both my wood suppliers are completely shut down. They're not even open right now. So I couldn't even get the wood I need for my current project and my next project can't do it, can't go get it. So with all of that being shut down, I went to the shop, tried to get some work done. It was 16 degrees on the hottest day inside the shop. And I thought, no, I'm, I'm just done. I'm not gonna do this. So I'm taking advantage of being self-employed. I am taking some time off. The last two days of this, it is starting to get warmer. We got actual snow and we got about six inches out here where I am, which is a first for us here in the past four years I've been in Tennessee. So I'm not getting a lot of work done, but I am doing a little bit of snurfing with the kids, hanging out, having fun, being a dad. So this week is a total wash and hopefully next week I can start to make up for it. We'll see what happens. finally warming up. It's probably super echoey in here, I just realized. The world is melting. Things are getting back to normal and hopefully that means that I can get my schedule a little bit back on track. It has been an entire week since I've gotten any work done on my current project, so I'm excited to get back to that. So I'm not gonna waste any time today. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up, get on over to the client's house and hopefully get this week going so we can get this project finished up.
Guess what? It's finished. This project turned out awesome. I'm very, very excited about it. It has some of the coolest features as far as like internal electronics in the drawers and things like that. I don't know, I just, I love it. It's super cool. It is kind of basic in the sense of like, I've done this same style office many, many times, but the way that we did it and the size of the ceilings in this particular room, plus redoing the antique desk to match it, made for just an awesome set. The colors that the client chose, they painted the walls before we got there, we painted everything gray, redid the desk in the same gray uh, with the brushed brass handles. It looks absolutely amazing. There's a printer tray, there's all this awesome stuff. Anyway, check it out. watching y'all if you haven't found me on Instagram go ahead and find me and follow me and like a whole bunch of my stuff on there um, it is instagram.com slash PMK woodworking you can get updates on the projects that I'm currently working on as well as just kind of the random stuff that's happening around the shop and see all the beauty shots of the projects that I've previously done in the past I also love chatting with people on there so if you have any questions about my videos or just woodworking in general find me on Instagram PM me I'll be happy to answer those questions I'm also going to start doing some lives here pretty soon. Just haven't gotten all that set up, so stay tuned for that. I also have a Facebook business page, and I pop into some woodworking groups on Facebook here and there, so you might see me in there. But speaking of Facebook, I do have a Facebook group. It's called Maker's Brag Book, and it is kind of the opposite of go in and get help. It's more just show off your stuff, and it's a place for people to be competitively positive and support one another in what we're doing. So whether you're a beginner, whether you are a professional, whether you are a cosplayer, or if you are a woodworker or a bladesmith, whatever it is, if you make something, I want you in that group, and I want you to just show off what you do so everybody can be like, Yay, that's awesome! And we can all be happy together in the making community. So check out Maker's Brag Book by clicking on the link below. Ask to join the group and I will approve you. There's a couple of ways you can help support this channel. Definitely check out the links below. Most importantly, if you see some of the plans and some of the DIYs that I've got in some of my other videos, you can go to etsy.com slash shop slash PMK Woodworking Shop, or just search for PMK Woodworking Shop and click on the stores link, and you can see a bunch of plans that I've made. Um, I'm starting with some more basic plans for people to really kind of get the gist of things and for me to get used to what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm going to start with some more advanced plans, as well as I'm hopefully going to be offering customizable plans so if you have a certain like built-in or a hutch or something like that that you want to have built I will actually design it for you and send you the plans and cut lists and all that um, it's gonna be a little bit pricey so I'm trying to figure out how to work all that out but it's all full digital downloads with 3d rendering and all that kind of stuff so should be kind of cool we'll see if that actually happens in the meantime check out the Etsy store buy you some cool stuff like a cutting board or a pen or some plans 
You can also hit up my Amazon storefront. I've got a whole bunch of projects posted on there where I post the actual products that I actually used in these builds and you can buy them yourselves. If you buy anything from my Amazon store or just using any of the links that I have in the description below, even if you just use those links to go to Amazon, I get a little tiny bit of every sale that happens. So please, to help support this channel, go ahead and use the Amazon links. If you're gonna buy some stuff, if you need some tools or some drills or just something cool that you see in one of my videos and you don't know where to get it, go to my Amazon store or click on the links below and help support this channel. Last but not least, I wanna send a shout out to Charlie Pants. They are sponsoring our videos and give us their awesome pants and shorts that you see us wearing in the videos. I've got a link to a video up here that you can click on. You can check out how awesome these pants are. They have pants, they have shorts, they have a whole bunch of different styles and they got a whole bunch of cool new things coming up in the future. So definitely check them out. Um, they are awesome, awesome work pants. I literally wear them every day. So do all my guys. So I would definitely check them out. If you use code PMK20, you can get 20% off your first purchase and sign up for their rewards program so that you can know when they have new things coming out. And also you can kind of build up as you buy more. And trust me, you will want to buy more. I think that's just about it for me. It is officially the weekend and I'm gonna go inside and do nothing for two days. Maybe play some Rocket League. I don't know. But thanks again for watching. Thanks for supporting this channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Also, merch. If you want to get some merch, you can click on the Teespring link below. I have some t-shirts and things that I designed it myself. Uh, most of them are either just my logo or have to do with Yoshi, but people buy the Yoshi shirts more than they buy my logo for some reason. I don't know what that is. But anyway, buy that, support the channel. We'll see you next time.